Hey everybody, it's Glenn bringing you my weekly video. Hope you're getting ready for a great weekend. Coming to you from home today. Uh, it's been a great day out uh, getting some things done with my wife and uh, we're looking forward to uh, a, a fun weekend with the kids. I uh, hope you are as well. On that note, I've had a request for my video this week and it's actually going to take a few different videos to get through this topic. Um, but stick with us here um, at my Facebook page uh, or my blog site, which you can find linked up in the post or the comments below. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll keep plugging away at this topic. But the topic that I want to talk to you today and spend a few videos on is how to be a good dad. And that is a vast topic. So I'm going to start with the first thing that came to my mind on the subject of being a good dad. The first thing, the most important thing that you can do uh, is to love and respect your child or your children's mother, okay? I've seen so many families, uh, whether they're intact or whether um, they're families uh, that share custody, where disrespect from uh, one parent to the, ne to the next, um, and particularly from dads toward the mothers, is uh, detrimental. It really uh, messes up a child's mind uh, and sends mixed signals and mixed messages. Uh, I know that's a blunt way to put it, uh, but regardless of your situation, dads, I'm speaking to you dads out there, you want to respect and love your child's mother um, the best way that you can and pre present that message to your kids every chance you get. Uh, adults have to have adult conversations and adults disagree uh, from time to time and those conversations have to be had. Don't do it in front of the child or the children uh, and don't vent about it after the fact to your children. Um, putting that uh, idea that uh, children can witness that disrespect and then mimic that disrespect uh, is really an awful way to be a dad. I don't know how to say it any better than that. Uh, I truly believe it takes two parents uh, to effectively uh, and raise a child and raise a child in a healthy way, regardless of your living situation or your marital status. Um, so that's the first thing that comes to mind. To be a good dad, love and respect your child or your children's mother. Uh, do your very best to uphold uh, that person in their eyes. Um, and if you'll be respectful yourself, you'll get the respect back from your children and from your spouse, from your children's mother, and um, it really will go a long way toward creating a healthy environment um, and, and healthy boundaries and healthy respect from your children. So that's number one. Stay tuned. Uh, I'll be writing some things and also posting some more videos about this. Got a variety of topics, so stick with us. If you'd like to talk more about it, if this has provoked something in your mind and uh, you'd like to talk more about it, you can always comment below. Uh, but it's easy to book 30 minutes free of charge with me if you go to 10talk.org slash Glenn dash golf. And I'll put the link in the comments in the post below so that you can have that. But go to 10talk, T-E-N-N-T-A-L-K dot org. You can see all the services that we offer. I want to be your family life coach uh, you can do that by booking a 30-minute free session with me. Let's get together over the phone and talk. Uh, and you can also check out the other things that I write at 10talk.org uh, on different uh, issues. So I appreciate you doing that, and uh, let me know what you think. God bless. Have a great weekend. We'll see you next week.